Hello and welcome to this Link POS training video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the sales terminal. The sales terminal is one of the main parts of Link POS. So to go to the sales terminal, head on over to the sales terminal tab. In the drop down that appears, click on the sales terminal option. This will open up the sales terminal. The layout you see is the default layout of the sales terminal when you first install Linked POS. Changing the layout is discussed later in the video. On the left side, you can see the items section. You can click on an item and it will be added to the invoice. The invoice is displayed on the right hand side. Any item that is added to the invoice is displayed here along with its price, quantity, and the item total. Note that you can change the quantity being sold on the invoice by changing the quantity here. If the item you're looking for is not displayed in the item section, you can search for the item by its name or barcode using the search bar on top. In addition, you can view all the items currently in Linked POS by clicking on this Items List button. You can search for items using a specific criteria, or you can look for specific items by looking at their images. In the section below the invoice, you can see the subtotal, discounts, taxes, and the gross total of the current invoice. Next, you can choose or add a customer. This feature helps you run and keep track of customer loyalty programs. The default customer in Link POS is the walk-in customer. You can add more customers by clicking on this Customers button. This will open up the Customers window. To add a new customer, click on this green plus sign in the top left corner, and enter the relevant information. Once you're done creating an invoice, hit cash, and this will open up the cash checkout window. Enter the amount paid by the customer, and as you can see, Link POS shows you the change due. Hit enter, and hit the save button. This will pop up the invoice. This signals the end of your transaction. You can print the invoice or discard it by closing the window. In Link POS, you can also change the layout of the sales terminal. To change the layout of the sales terminal, Head on over to the Sales Terminal menu. In the drop-down that appears, click on the Sales Terminal Options button. This will open up a window that looks exactly like the Sales Terminal, but has some additional buttons at the bottom. Link POS comes with some pre-installed terminal layouts that can be cycled through by clicking the Next and the Previous buttons. In between the Next and Previous buttons, you can see some additional buttons, starting from Largest and ending at Smallest. These buttons can be used to adjust the size of the components in the terminal window. Once you're done editing the layout, hit save and exit the editor. When you go back to the terminal window, you will see that your changes have been implemented. We hope you find this video helpful. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below.